Approximately 3,000 years ago, the interconnected world of the Near East and the Eastern Mediterranean was torn apart at the seams. Now, the causes for this societal collapse are legion. And although some of the more colorful ones stand out, like the invasion of Egypt and some other areas uh, by invaders we collectively now know as the Sea Peoples, very likely the world went down in a perfect storm of collapse and calamity. By the beginning of the 12th century, the city of Ugarit was, for example, no more, torn apart and burned, never to be rebuilt. It was just one of about 40 cities that met their end around 1177, the year that civilization really did appear to collapse and send the region into what we commonly know as the Greek and Egyptian Dark Ages. Dark in the sense, of course, that we lack evidence to really know too much about what was occurring after this period. So, Eric Klein's book, 1177 BC, The Year Civilization Collapsed, examines this general societal phenomenon and why exactly and when it occurred. Now, it's broken into really two key parts, broadly speaking. The first half of the book examines the region as a whole, covering Egypt, Greece, Assyria, Hatti, and many other countries and places besides those listed. It draws on a combination of archaeology, on the one hand, and textual evidence to demonstrate how deeply connected the world was. All of the rulers, for example, they exchanged gifts and letters all the time, referring to each other as brothers. And, additionally, there are things like shipwrecks which tell us that they were carrying copper from Cyprus, tin from Iran, olive oil from Greece, and timber from the Levant. So, it is an extremely interconnected web of societies, markets, and rulership. Now, this book lays particular emphasis, okay, on the worlds of Egypt and of Mycenaean Greece, and probably with good reason, because for this general period, this is where most, not all of, of course, but most of the evidence survives. This is where most of the evidence we have comes from, and this is also the period um, when the Trojan War and the Biblical Exodus, if they both did indeed actually happen, this is when they're supposed to have occurred. Now, the second half of this book, okay, looks at the evidence for this societal collapse. There were wars, invasions, uh, social upheavals, there is famine, there's certainly evidence of things like climate change. The list really here is almost endless. And as Eric Klein notes, none of these factors by themselves would have really resulted in a broad regional collapse, but taken together, they upended everything. And that really perhaps is, uh, you know, this book's key point. And it is a poignant one to be made in reference to our own interconnected world um, because we are also facing things like climate change today. So for anyone looking to understand the late Bronze Age, things like world systems theory, which I personally find fascinating and we'll, and we'll be doing a video on at some point, um, or comparative history or, or the comparative historiographical method, this book should be on your list. And because this is roughly a, a current synthesis of much of the literature, which is also highly readable, okay, it presumes no previous knowledge, I'm going to give this a one on the channel's review scale. So guys, I would highly encourage you to pick this up. Hopefully you found this review somewhat useful. Take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.